Today I've got a comparison video on two practice pads, the Zymox Reserve practice pad and the Offworld Invader V3 practice pad. I had my 25 year old real feel and it was in pretty rough shape and I needed a new pad and I started looking around and I came across these two in my search and I was debating on which one to get. I looked for some videos. There were a lot of videos, but not a lot of review videos of them and definitely not a lot of comparative videos between the two of them. So I've done video reviews of both of them. I'll put the link up above and down below to both of those videos. They've been pretty popular. To get the basics out of the way, I have the Zymox pad in the 12 inch and I have the Offworld pad in the 13 and a half inch. The Zymox also comes in a 14 inch. Real world sizes of these, the 12 inch Zymox pad is about 11 and a half inches edge to edge and the Offworld pad 13 and a half inches is actually about 13.75 inches edge to edge. So they're both in the ballpark of the size that they say. And I'll assume that maybe the 14 inch of the Zymox is 13 and a half. I don't have it, but I'm gonna guess a little bit. Weight on both of these is both in the ballpark of five pounds. On my scale, the Zymox 12 inch pad weighs in at four pounds, seven ounces. The Offworld pad weighs in at five pounds, four ounces. So I imagine if you got the 14 ounce Zymox pad, they would both be a little over five pounds in that same ballpark. So they're not light pads. They have some def definite substantial weight to them. Prices, the 12 inch Zymox is $84. The 14 inch Zymox is $98. And the 13 and a half inch one size off-world pad is $80. Now there's a couple of variations of the off-world pad. So you might find one for $69. There's a, when you look at their website, a couple of variations, but this specific one is $80. Shipping wise, they are both in the ballpark of $20 shipped. If you get them from the respective websites, you can only get the Zymox from the Zymox website. Whereas Offworld, you can get from a whole bunch of places, one of them, including Amazon Prime. So this one is $84 plus $19 shipping, which makes it $103. This one is $80 plus either $21 shipping from Offworld or Amazon Prime, two days to your house, free shipping if you're a Prime member. So real world prices, $103 and a flat $80. Shipping times, two days, Amazon Prime. This is a whole other issue that I'll get into later. Uh, who knows when you might get this one? I'll get into that story a little bit later, but you can definitely have the off-world one a lot quicker via Amazon Prime because they're in stock everywhere. Both of these pads are relatively customizable. The Zymox pad is more customizable than the Offworld pad. For Zymox, you go to the Zymox website, you can click on the pad, find the 12 inch reserve pad, and then you can click all the different options. You can pick the rim color, you can pick the head color, you can pick the base color, you can pick the lug colors, all sorts of different things you can pick on that. On the Offworld pad, you can, at least this particular model, there are other models of it that are different colors. But this particular model, you can get either a black or a red rim and a black or a gray vinyl mylar laminate. Again, lots of other options. There's a Scott Johnson pad that comes in blue. There's some different laminates you can get on it, but this pad only comes with those two options. Going over the general construction of these two pads now, comparing those, I'm gonna play on them at the end. I'll give you just a base idea here and then I'll get a little bit better sound for you at the end of the video. The off-world pad has two different playing surfaces. Their standard playing surface is their dark matter. It is a rubbery polymer, and as a playing surface itself, it has kind of a low-pitched, quieter sound. Alternatively, you can take that dark matter and you can put a vinyl mylar laminate on it. These are initially made for wrapping cars. They put that on here, and that gives it a little bit higher pitched, louder articulate sound. So a little louder, a little bit more articulate. This Mylar laminate will wear a little bit over time, right in the center there where you play, and they give you an extra centerpiece here. The centerpiece just pulls right off, it's already scored, you pull that off, stick the replacement one on there, and then you have a new playing surface. You can buy more of these, but they do include one with it in the package. The dark matter is a super grippy rubber so that when you put it down, when you first put the pad down, it's not gonna go anywhere. You may even have to peel it up off the counter, it's so grippy. But over time, it is a dust magnet and it will fill up with dust and it cleans off real easy with some Windex, but it will attract dust. So if that is your top playing surface, if you get one of the pads that has that as the top playing surface without the laminate, 
your pad is gonna show some dirt and dust pretty easily. I like the Mylar laminate because it gives a little bit more louder articulate sound, but then you still have the option of the dark matter surface on the back. So two options for the off-world pad. For the Zymox pad, I don't really know what is under their playing surface. They don't really give a lot of information about that on their website. On top of that, you can pick the color of sort of the head. I went with the blue black Kevlar. And then on top of that, there is a piece of plastic. So it looks like a piece of thick plastic, clear plastic, which is the playing surface. It will wear a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna wear in the way that this laminate will. I don't think it's gonna wear through such that you need to replace it. For the most part, there's only one playing surface on the Zymox pad because the big selling point of the Zymox pad is that it has their snare mechanism. And under this plate in the back here, you just take this off with a regular drum key. There are a bunch of ball bearings under there and that's what gives it the snare sound. If you don't like the snare sound, you can put this little piece of rubber on it, put the plate back on, and that will deaden the snares. As I mentioned in my Zymox video, I bought this pad for the snare sound, so I am not deadening the snare sound. Give you a base idea of this. Looking next at the rim, Offworld has their stick saver rim, as they call it. It is a hard piece of plastic that has shown no wear over time. And because it's that hard plastic, it's supposed to be a little bit gentler on your sticks as opposed to the metal rim on a drum. As I mentioned, there are no moving parts, so the rim is just there. You can use it for doing shots. The Zymox pad has a rim. The rim is on with regular lugs, those lugs are tightened and loosened with a standard drum key. Now in my Zymox video, I misspoke. I said that the head is tensioned by the rim and that is apparently not the case. The rim is apparently completely independent of the head mechanism itself. The rim is mostly apparently just there for looks and for doing shots. And if you take this off, if I ever get the right rim, I'll talk about this also in a little bit. This is not the rim I ordered. If I ever get the right rim, I'll take this off and I'll see for myself. You can see that around the areas where the lugs are, the lugs are tightened all the way down, and then between that, the rim is up a little bit. So the rim is apparently not giving any tension to the head, so tightening it down does not really do much more for the playing surface like it would with a regular rim on a drum. But you can take that off and change the rim out if you want. Also on the Zymox rim, there are two little notches, and you can put your sticks in there so that between practicing, your sticks won't roll off the pad. Small thing, but it's a nice feature. The sound of these pads is going to depend on what surface you put them on. So for me right now, I'm sitting at a desk. Here to here is the footwell of the desk. Over here are drawers. So if I look at this part of the desk, low pitched, high pitched, right? Different areas. So if you put a pad in the middle, versus you put it here, you're getting a little bit different sound. Same with the Zymox, if you put it in the middle of the desk, you're gonna get a bit of a low pitched thuddy sound. Versus here. So the sound is gonna depend on what you're putting the pad on. For the most true sound, put the pad on a stand and that's going to isolate it from the desk. Also on the bottom of the Zymox pad, this is really small and this is a nitpick and I think it probably doesn't make as much of a difference as it does in my head, but there is this rubber surface down here. 
this rubber spongy surface, which gives some. And I like to think in my head that when you play, this gives a little bit and makes the pad ever so minusculely less bouncy. Again, I think that's more in my head than it is in real life. I would like the Zymox pad to have something like the dark matter, just a very firm surface on the bottom. That way there is absolutely no give to it. Again, it's a small thing. Now the big elephant in the room with these two companies is customer service. Offworld, this is a quick one. Offworld, I ordered it, Amazon Prime, had it to my house in two days, never had to deal with their customer service. It was never a problem, didn't have to contact them. Zymox, my timeline, I ordered it June 3rd, it arrived August 1st. I still do not have the correct rim. I ordered it with a black rim. They sent it with the green rim just so I could actually have a pad, which I appreciate. I'm apparently an outlier here because everyone else does not get a pad, it seems, until their complete pad is done. I'm not sure why I got this little benefit because I ordered this pad on my own with my own money. They didn't know I was doing a video. I didn't know I was gonna make a video on it for that matter. So there was no uh, extra special dispensation because I was doing a video. I ordered this on my own as a regular customer. I appreciate the fact that they sent me a pad that I could use because I still would not have this pad having ordered it in June because I still don't have my correct rim if they would have waited to send me until they had all the right parts. In that way, I appreciate their customer service that they sent me a pad so that I could use it, but it's annoying that why does it take so long for you to get a Zymox pad to love and have and hold forever and forever and such forth and so on. I don't know why it takes them so long. It doesn't make any sense to me. If they could get their shipping and manufacturing times down to a normal regular time and have things in stock, they'd make a killing because this is an awesome pad. I don't know why it takes so long. People are just dying to get these pads and they can't because they have to wait so long. And for that reason, when I first got one, I ordered the off-world pad because I knew I could have it and I didn't know how long it was gonna to take to get to this one. Now, to that end, when I email them to check about my rim, I'll email them, they write me back in two, three days. It's always a friendly email. I don't have a problem with the communication with the customer service. I just don't know why it takes so long to get these things. It's, it's insane. So the short answer there is, if you don't have either of these and you need a pad, get the off-world one because you can actually have it now. If you want, it kind of, it's kind of what I did. I ordered the off-world one and then I had it for a while and I wanted this one, so I threw some money to Zymox. I knew I was gonna wait a while and eventually I got the pad. So it just kind of depends on if you get lucky. So there's the issues with their customer service and the insane wait times on Zymox. I don't, I don't get it. Final thoughts on these pads. They are both great pads. I've been very happy with both of them. There's a little bit difference in the sound of them. The off-world pad has a little bit more low pitched, a little less articulate sound. It's a little bit quieter. It's probably not going to annoy many people if say you live with your parents or roommates or something and you wanna be a little bit quieter. Also, especially if you play on that dark matter side, it has a little bit more versatility with that. So there's a couple options for playing on the off-world pad. The Zymox pad has the advantage of that snare sound, which I love. It's a little bit more articulate. I think that the Zymox pad does have a little bit better bounce to it compared to the off-world pad. The feeling between the two of them is actually kind of a different feel. The off-world pad has a little bit more of a rubbery feeling to it, whereas the Zymox pad has, I don't know, almost a little bit more of a drum head feeling to it. I do like the feel of the Zymox pad a little bit more. It's a little bit more articulate. It's a little bit more bouncy. It's a little has a little more rebound to it as compared to the off-world pad. Now you could argue that if you want to better your chops, it's like playing on the backside of the old real feel. 
that had that dense rubber that wasn't as bouncy as the rubbery side play on the off world and it might be a little bit better for your chops because it is maybe just a little bit less bouncy so that when you get to the real drum you're going to probably be a little bit better with the better rebound so in the end i don't think you can go wrong with either they're both awesome pads the price is the same other than shipping but one of them you can have now and one of them i don't know when you can have so it just depends on how much of a need you are in for your pad or if you've got a pad and maybe you want this one but you can wait for it and you throw some money at Zymox and hope to get it someday. Hopefully the video was helpful. Post some comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your opinions are. Let me know if you have any other thoughts that I didn't mention. I'd love to hear from you and take care until next time. See ya.